What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany. In today's vlog, we'll be doing a day in the life of an event planner where you'll watch me shop, prep, and set up for my cousin's yellow theme graduation party. Let's get into it. We're like diamonds in the sky. I knew that way So first things first, I headed out to do my shopping. I wanted to do everything on a strict budget. So everything came from Dollar Tree and Walmart, which wasn't a problem because Dollar Tree and Walmart have all of the party themes. I grabbed mostly yellow things for the theme, but I also wanted to sprinkle in some grad stuff. From Dollar Tree, I was able to grab the containers, majority of the decor, some candy, and all of the glassware. And then after snatching up what I could get out of Dollar Tree, I headed right next door to get the groceries and the remainder of the items from Walmart. I just need ribbon. How am I supposed to find yellow or gold ribbon? And everything is thrown together like this. Okay, the brighter colors are on this side. This is gonna work. So I'm on the snack aisle for Rice Krispie Treats to do the chocolate covered Rice Krispies for my cousin's party. Y'all know me. And if y'all don't, I'm telling y'all now that the snack aisle is a dangerous aisle for me because I love junk food. I'm here y'all and I'm supposed to get the Rice Krispie bars. This is the only like original style box that's available. It's bust open, so of course that's not coming home. Why y'all ain't tell me they got a variety box? Chocolate, strawberry, and original. I'm only doing a, um, two dozen of treats, so I only need 24 Rice Krispies to do this party. Um, so I'll still have 10 left of the original, and then I have two other flavors for the house. Yeah, this box has to come home. I probably come in Walmart once a month, y'all, because of stuff like this. You don't see this in other stores. Making my way out of the aisle, y'all, trying to have tunnel vision. I was moving fast. Boom. This is the type of stuff I be talking about. So here's the fun funfetti stuff. I brought this in another vlog, flavored pancakes. I tried Oreo and the fun funfetti. They were great. Now they have this. I ain't came in here in 30 days. And now they got Fruity Pebble um, pancakes with the Fruity Pebble syrup. I've tried the um, Berry Tastic ones and the Berry Tastic or the blueberry, whatever type of maple syrup this is. Really, it's just maple syrup with blue food color. I didn't learn that till I got home. They have Fruity Pebbles now. Oh, and it's Miss Buttersworth. I'm home, you guys, and this is my damage. Um, it's a mixture between what I needed from the party and me getting stuff for myself. So I'm going to sort out my stuff for the house with the stuff for the party, and then I'll come back and give y'all a haul on party stuff. This right here is just decor and knickknacks. The food stuff, everything for the treats is in my dining room already. I'll show y'all in a minute. But right here is decor. It's very minor decor. I just got a few of these little things to hang from the ceiling. Um, her dinner party, her graduation dinner party is at a restaurant. It's not like at a venue where food will be catered. It's at a restaurant where reservations are back to back. So I didn't want to overdo it with decor because all of this stuff has to be snatched down for the next group of people to come for the next party. So I mainly just wanted to focus on tableware and things like that. But I did get some of this. I got this to trim around either the table where the treats are going to be or the table where her gifts are going to be. I felt like this was really cute. I don't know if I said it to y'all or not, but she wanted all yellow. Um, that's her favorite color, so she wanted the theme to be yellow. I don't even know if those are her school colors. She just keeps saying yellow. And then I decided to accent it with gold because that's easier to find right now with graduation than silver. Um, so we have gold, white, and yellow balloons. And that's all decor. As far as decor as well, I got four gold frames. I'm about to go pick up her pictures from the FedEx print shop near me in a minute. They told me that the order would be ready in 30 minutes. So I just printed out a few of her graduation pictures um, to go in these frames and I'll put them on the goodie table and the gift table. Right here, I just have some yellow napkins and yellow silverware or like yellow plastic wear again it's at a restaurant so i'm not even sure that we're going to use this or need this but just in case she has a cake that's being cut or whatever um they'll have stuff on the treat table i don't even know what i'm going to use these for but they were like these yellow styrofoam balls i don't know if i'm going to put them at the base of the bases where the flowers are going to go or not this was a cute vase i seen on the flower aisle as well in dollar tree where i can trim it with like this gold stuff I got at a Dollar Tree as well 
I don't know yet, but I had to have this. Even if I don't use it for her party, I wanted it. I got some hot glue sticks, a 20 piece case of that, because just in case I wanna use this to, okay, so I have these sticks right here that are gonna go on the end of the Rice Krispie Treats. And let me show y'all real quick. This is stuff I already had out of my stash. This is the only thing I had already out of my stash that could have went with her party. I don't know if y'all remember that baby shower vlog I did for my sister two months ago when she had her baby shower for her little boy, but I ordered these sticks off of Amazon and I could not find them again in gold. I guess everybody is getting them for graduation. So my idea was to make some DIY some of my own. So out of Dollar Tree, I just got this gold stuff right here and then i went in walmart and got these sticks that are similar to these and if time permits i'm gonna hot glue these little strings or strips around this to kind of match up with these she has she wants me to do two dozen of everything and there's only eight of these in here so i was gonna just duplicate these with the stuff that i got if i have time y'all because i'm still doing hair and taking clients in the midst of preparing for this party. I got these little zipper seal bags for candy just in case. This, I don't know why I got these because I have so many of these already. I just, every time I'm in the store buying party stuff, I buy that. I got this. This needs to go with the decor section. Don't know what I'm going to use that for yet. Some stuff that says grad. Mimi said all yellow, but I'm like, they need to walk in and see that it's a graduation party as well. So I did get some graduation plates and these little things to stick around. I got some flowers for the centerpieces. There's a bunch of tables in the restaurant. She rented out like a room for the section where her family is going to be. And there's a bunch of tables. I, I have pictures of the layout so I could make a visual of what was going on. She sent me pictures of the restaurant. So I'll show y'all all of the tables. But every table is just going to have a little flower arrangement on it. So I got some daffodils. I believe that's this type of flower this is. Yes, a daffodil. Sunflowers. And then... I think I just got, no, 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 there's another type of flower in here. What is this one? I used to know all the flowers, y'all. Orchids. So I got orchids, daffodils, and sunflowers. I'm going to make arrangements for every table. All of the tables that people are going to eat at are going to be yellow. So the table where people are going to put her gifts is going to have a gold tablecloth. And the um, table where her cake and treats are going to be is going to be on a gold tablecloth. So that's all of the decor. I got these little chalkboards. But this is for a future event. So I was in Dollar Tree and could not turn these down. They have a whole aisle for stuff like this. I didn't get any chalk because I don't plan on using them this weekend. But in the future, like let's just say I'm doing a event with cake pops. Like with this one, I thought about doing it, but my cake pop machine is down and I've yet to replace it. But let's just say I do a theme with cake pops and people want to know what cake pop they're biting into. Is it a strawberry um, cake pop? Is it a vanilla? You'll just write strawberry flavor and stick this next to it. Or if you're doing like a, if you're catering your own event, this can, um, I'm not just going to speak for what I offer with my events because I only do treats and decor. But if you're doing one where you're catering something, these are really cute to just put out what's on the menu or what's in it. You want to let people know if there's shellfish, if there's nuts, people have food allergies, so... These are cute little um, chalkboards for that. Over here next to my stereo is all of the food items. I just got a bunch of assorted candy. I felt bad that I wasn't able to make the cake pop. So I just got a bunch of candy. Hard yellow candy, some lemon heads. I got Oreos. They're pre-wrapped. You get two per pack. So I'm going to have those out on the table. And then the banana Laffy Taffies. These are the chocolate melts, yellow and white. The pretzel sticks. And then I have one jar out here already. I have, oh, and two up here that I brought out of Dollar Tree. But that's everything, y'all. This is what I think everyone should consider when they say, oh, businesses charge too much for decor. I'm going to do my own party. It's pricey. This is what you're paying for. When I put my price out, I used to feel bad because I'm just like 200 and 300 and 400 is a lot of money to be charging somebody. But no two parties are the same. So every time you do an event, the person who's doing your event, every time a person who does an event has an event, there's something that they need. And with me being a new event planner and still trying to get my portfolio built, every party I do, like I said, is completely different. So I've never done an all yellow party. Groceries is not cheap, y'all. This type of stuff, this right here alone was probably a $50 ticket. When you think about it, these candy melts are $3 a pack. Like Wilton has gone up. Even if it's $1 here, $1 there, 80 items is $80. So 
yeah and i talked to my clients about that with hair too hair i tell y'all that in every braider vlog we have to get supplies edge controls and gels and mousses all of that stuff it's an ongoing thing <laughs> Just went and picked up her pictures. I'm about to frame these really quick and then we'll get to work on treats. So these are the frame photos. I always try to do frame photos, include them some way in my decor when it comes to like a sentimental um, occasion like this because they're good gifts to have. Not only can the graduate take one or two home, but if she has grandparents at the dinner tomorrow, her parents, anyone that she may not have gifted a frame photo to or may have emailed the photo but wants a photo of her in frames. I love to do this. I did this for my best friend's bridal party. Her and her fiance took, en well, her husband now. They took engagement photos prior to their wedding and I framed their engagement photos at the bridal shower and there were great gifts for grandparents, her spouse's parents. Like, this is always just a good gift. So what I decided was her cap and gown and then this photo that says I'm done is going to go on the table where her gifts are because it's like cap and gown theme. Although she wanted straight yellow, this screams I just, gradu I just graduated high school. Give me my cards, give me my presents. So that'll be on the gift table with her all graduate themed stuff. And then on the table with the candies and the treats and all of that i'm gonna have these photos in there because they actually match the theme of the white gold and yellow so i have her casuals here one vertical one horizontal then i have a vertical and a horizontal for the gift table and that's that y'all so if you're watching this and you're a party planner or you plan on doing an event soon get some frame photos i don't normally do them for birthday parties unless it's like a decade 50 60 70 that type of ordeal but for graduations weddings vow renewals frame photos are always a go-to even if you don't want them someone at your event may want them um so yeah these all were like 50 cent a piece each printout was 50 cent a piece and then um the frames were a dollar at dollar Tree. so i spent two dollars on getting the photos printed and four dollars on frames it's a six dollar project for a gift that someone will love so yeah love them congrats mimi so proud of you this makes it real right here y'all but let's get started on these treats. And I need to talk to y'all about this because look at what this box say, y'all. Mini squares. So let's get into it. I'm going to show y'all. I unwrapped the Rice Krispie treats already. So I'm going to talk to y'all about my ordeal. I was wondering why this box was so cheap. For 64 squares, I only paid $10. 64 Rice Krispie treats. I'm like, I don't normally pay that. I pulled out a regular size Rice Krispie treat out of my snack cabinet, my snack pantry, just to show y'all look at these they're mini squares i did not read the box so that explains it. it's not a regular rectangle treat how it's supposed to look i'll put an example of how my rice crispy treats normally look um because i don't want to take this out of the wrap and i'm not about to eat it i'm going to throw in some popcorn i have this movie theater butter popcorn in my pantry y'all know I, I keep snacks on deck anyway so this came in handy i'm just gonna pop three bags of popcorn and then drizzle yellow gold silver i mean yellow gold and white um chocolate all over the um popcorn put them in bags and it'd be like a surprise treat make up for the cake pops and this because what <laughs> i don't know y'all but yeah um, I decided just to leave the sticks as is because I'm running short on time. I have a client coming in two hours and I want to have all of the treats done. And then once I finish my client tonight, I have to do jello shots. But yeah, this is what's going on, y'all. Everything is unpackaged and unwrapped. I just have to dip everything. So I'm about to melt the chocolate and get started. All of the Rice Krispies are on their sticks. Pretty much I just melted some yellow chocolate in a bowl. I stuck the sticks in the chocolate first and then I move the rice crispy treat down onto the chocolate to make the chocolate make the rice crispy stick on the stick if that makes any sense so if you're going to do rice crispy sticks for an event just take the stick you're going to use dip it in chocolate and stick the rice crispy on there like that i'm supposed to be making two dozen but this right here is about 28 just because 
I always need room for error like this. I was dipping that in chocolate and a little bit of chocolate got on the Rice Krispie. If I don't find a way to decorate that to hide my mistake, I won't use that one. But yeah, I you normally want to use parchment paper, but I was all out. Didn't realize it wasn't going back to the store. So I'm using foil. What I do love about these mini squares is if I was doing like a pink theme, this would be really cute. Now that I see them on the sticks, I'm in love with them. Actually, the size is really cute and petite. If I was doing like a pink little girl's night or like even browns and nudes, I could do the chocolate and regular vanilla ones. The way they come in the box is the vanilla are in blue aluminum. The chocolates have the chocolate label and then the strawberry, of course, are wrapped in pink. But yeah, these are actually really cute. So I just finished the popcorn and it's crazy to me that I didn't even think that putting the yellow chocolate on there is not going to really be visible because the popcorn is yellow. But it all works for the theme. But I have chocolate and if you look really closely, I have 14 karat gold sprinkles and white sprinkles. But I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the icing and the sprinkles to dry and set. And then I'll put them in their little bags. This is some extra um, treats I had left over. I went ahead and decorated just with a little zigzag drizzle. And it looks like mustard. Like, I don't know how I feel about working with yellow chocolate, but she loves it. So I guess I have to. Don't mind the stains in the little fabric I put. I put this on the table to protect my table. Um, and then I spilled a little jello trying to pour it in. But I made jello shots. Disclaimer, this was added to the order. I don't know if it was for the adults that'll be attending the party or what. I don't condone underage drinking. I know I said at the beginning of this video that my cousin is only graduating from high school. But yeah, this was added to the order. So I made two dozen of jello shots. And then once the, the popcorn finally dries, I will put it in those bags back there. And then I decided to tie them with this little stuff. I really wanted to use this stuff. I showed y'all early in the vlog, earlier in the vlog that I got from Dollar Tree. This right here. So I just cut it in strips like this. I just went down each line and cut strips of it. And this is what I'm going to use to tie the popcorn since I didn't bling out the sticks. This is everything, y'all. Everything except the decor I have to set up once I get there tomorrow, blow up the balloons and decorate the tables. But I actually like the way the popcorn turned out. Even though you can't really tell it's decorated, it's yellow. So um, in future party vlogs, I'll try to show you how I drizzle the popcorn. You'll be able to see it better if it was purple icing or pink icing or lime green icing even. Um, so you'll see more of that, but we have the pretzel sticks, the Rice Krispie, the popcorn, all of the little goodies right here. There should be 20 people or less, but you always want to make more than enough. The jello shots have to sit in the fridge. I'm about to finish cleaning off my table and then I'm going to go to bed. And here I am on celebration day. I didn't get a lot of pictures or footage of the way things turned out because things moved pretty quickly. I inserted what I had at the end, but I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you in the next vlog.